So, today we are going to see some topics on the discrete maths. So, we will start with group theory and coding theory which is a unit 5. Now, coming to the group theory, definition of a group. A group consists of a set and a binary operation. So, here the binary operation is represented by a composition and this operation could be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division or any operation which can be defined by the user on that set which satisfies the following properties that is the set A with the operation composition is a group if it satisfies the closure that is for all A B belongs to A that is if you take any two elements of the set A then A composition B should also belong to the set A. Next associative so if you take A B C which belongs to the set A then A composition B composition C should be equals to A composition B composition C. It states that the order of the operation does not matter when you are doing the operation on three elements. Next an identity for A belongs to A there exists E belongs to A such that A composition E should be equals to E composition A. Next inverse for all A belongs to A, there exists A inverse belongs to A such that A composition A inverse is equal to A inverse composition A is equal to E. That means for every element A, you can identify A inverse such that if you perform the operation of A composition A inverse, you should get an identity element. So, these are the four properties that a group should be satisfied. In addition to this four properties if a group satisfies commutative property then it is called an abelian group or a commutative group that is for a comma b belongs to a a composition b should be equals to b composition a some examples of the group here is a set of a set z of integers with addition is an abelian or a commutative group Next is a set of set Z of integers with multiplication is an abelian or a commutative group. Now let us see how to prove that set of integers with addition is an abelian or a commutative group. So each of these four properties plus the commutative property we have to show that it is satisfied on set of integers with the addition. So first one closure. So if you take any two integers then a plus b will also be an integer therefore closure is satisfied then associative if you take any three integers then a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c therefore associativity is also satisfied next for identity for a belongs to z there exists e belongs to z such that a plus e is equal to e plus a is equal to a which means I have to find what is the identity element for this addition operation and since we know that a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a therefore e is equal to 0 is an identity element therefore identity element exists. Inverse for all a belongs to z there exists a inverse belongs to z such that a plus a inverse is equal to a inverse plus a is equal to e which is an identity element. In this case identity element is 0 therefore a plus minus a is equal to minus a plus a is equal to 0 and a inverse is equal to minus a belongs to z therefore minus a is the inverse of a therefore inverse element exists for each a. Since z plus satisfies closure associativity and has an identity and every element of z has an inverse z plus is a group. Now for all a b belongs to z a plus b is equal to b plus a because we know that plus is a satisfying the closure therefore commutative property is also satisfied therefore z plus is an abelian group. Second example show that the set of all non-zero rational numbers with respect to the operation of multiplication is a group. Now here it is uh, the set is a non-zero rational number. So here 
let us assume that the set of non zero rational numbers is represented by q0 or you can also use q minus 0 so then by the group axioms we know that the product of two non zero rational numbers is also a non zero rational number therefore q dash is closed with respect to multiplication therefore closure is satisfied now we know that for rational numbers a into b into c is equal to a into b into c just a minute for all a b c belongs to q dash therefore the associative axiom is also satisfied and uh, one is the multiplicative identity and is a rational number therefore identity element exists and now if a belongs to q dash then 1 into a is equal to a into 1 is equal to 1 and 1 belongs to q dash so 1 is the multiplicative inverse of a thus inverse exists for every a belongs to j dash therefore q dash comma dot satisfies closure associativity and has an identity and every element of q dash has an inverse q dash dot is a group in addition for a b belongs to q dash just a minute a into b is equal to b to a since the multiplication is commutative therefore commutative property is also satisfied therefore q dash comma dot is an abelian group next show that z phi plus is an abelian group so z phi is the modulo phi positive modulo integers modulo phi so modulo phi means it is 0 1 2 3 4 and again here 0 1 2 3 4 and the operation is addition so therefore first we write the modulo phi addition modulo phi table so how to write this table so now it is how to first you will write the row elements and the column uh, headings so 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 0 plus 2 is 2 0 plus 3 is 3 0 plus 4 is 4 next 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 modulo 5 is 0. That's why you got it 0 here. Next 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus uh, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus uh, 3 is 5, 5 modulo 5 is 0. Then 2 plus uh, 4 is uh, 6, 6 mod 5 is 1. So likewise the remaining uh, two rows also you have to first write. Now we, if you know this table then again you have to show that it satisfies all the properties. Now first since the table contains the elements of Z5 closure is satisfied. You can observe that the entries here they all belongs to Z5 therefore closure is satisfied. Now for any two elements of Z5 A plus B plus C is equal to B, A plus B plus C. So, you can take one example and show that it is satisfying. So, associativity is also satisfied. Now, since the row with 0 is same as the top, top row, that is here, you can observe this row with 0, it has the same elements as the top row. Therefore, 0 is the identity element. Now, in each row, identify where 0 is present. Just a minute. So, here for 0, 0 is present here. For row 1, 0 is present here. For row 2, that is a element with the 2, this is a identity element is present here. This is identity element present here. This is identity element present here. Now, for finding the inverse of 0, this is the row uh, position where it contains 0. So, go top and this is the inverse so 0 is the inverse next for 1 this is the entry which contains 0 so go to the top and find out the inverse so 1 inverse is 4 next for 2 the inverse is 3 so for 3 the inverse is 2 and for 4 the inverse is 
1. So every element has an inverse. So inverse is also exist for every element. So inverse is satisfied. Since Z5 plus satisfies closure associativity and has an identity which is 0 and every element of Z5 has an inverse, Z5 is a group. Further, the table is symmetric about the main diagonal. So you can observe this. So the diagonal, uh, main diagonal opposite, you can check out they are the same elements. Or if you take this table and the transpose of this table, they must they will be same. So at that time we say that the commutative property is satisfied. Therefore, Z5 plus is an abelian group. So we'll see more examples in the next video. Thank you.